Hey everybody, King Brimley here with you again on a Friday. Uh, a little change in content today. I decided uh, after thinking about it that I wanted to bring uh, some of my love of sports into the uh, channel. And uh, so I decided to talk a little bit about the NFL draft and the upcoming uh, boxing match between uh, Floyd Mayweather and Manny pa Pacquiao. And uh, this is not going to be a recap of the NFL draft. If you want me to do that, I will. I'm going to focus primarily on my team. I believe green and gold. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to be talking about the Packers' first round pick, uh, which was a bit of a surprise to me as they drafted free safety Demarius Randall from Arizona State. Um, I actually thought from looking over uh, reports and uh, mock drafts, they were going to take uh, Byron Jones of Connecticut. He ended up going to the Cowboys. Uh, Randall actually was a second rounder on most charts that I saw. It sounds like the Packers are planning to line him up at corner uh, and for free safety at 5'11", 196. This is certainly possible. I'm somewhat concerned about it because reports seem to indicate that Randall's cover, cover skills are a little lacking. Um, but, you know, I have to trust Ted Thompson. He's done a good job in the draft and Jones. Uh, was coming off a of shoulder surgery, so it's nice to see the Packers stay away from uh, guys with an injury history this time around, as they have had some trouble with that in the past. Justin Harrell, uh, one of their big first-round defensive tackles from a few years ago, sticks in my mind. Um, I am concerned that it might be a bit of a reach taking him in the first round. Sounds like he was maybe early to mid-second round talent. But, you know, they did get Sam Shields late in the draft, and they turned him into a good uh, corner. So, as a Packer fan, I'm hopeful this works out well. And this weekend, we've got a big boxing match coming up. Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao squaring off. Finally, it's been anticipated for years. Personally, I think the fight's a little too late. Uh, both these fighters are well past their primes, and it'll still be fascinating for the spectacle. When I was younger, I was a huge boxing fan, uh, primarily the heavyweight classes, but I grew up watching Iron Mike Tyson before he kind of went off the deep end. But he was probably my favorite boxer, him and Big George Foreman, uh, during one of his comebacks when he retook the title. I don't know, looking back at that now, it almost seems a little gimmicky, but, you know, I was an emotional, uh, emotional about it as a kid, and my dad was a big fan of boxing, and so we bonded watching that. When people say that... Uh, Floyd Mayweather may be the best ever or the best pound for pound and I think statistically he is um, based on you know how boxes are graded for punching accuracy and so on and so forth. I think Muhammad Ali is the greatest of all time and so I'm rooting uh, for Manny for that reason. I think the loss would put a mar on uh, Floyd Mayweather's greatness, maybe not in the eyes of his fans. And I realize that Ali, you know, boxed past his prime and kind of made a fool of himself at the end. But as far as I'm concerned, he's the greatest of all time. He's one of my sport heroes. And so I kind of um, am selfishly rooting for Manny to unseat uh, Floyd from his perfect record at this point. Though there is a piece of history that he's chasing if he decides to box, I believe, one more bout beyond Manny. And that's Rocky Marciano's 49-0 and record. And so... You know, in that sense, it would be kind of cool to see Floyd win, but I'm still rooting for Manny. As far as the content that I discussed, uh, I've communicated with my friends from Russia, and it sounds like this weekend I'm going to be able to manage to get that filmed and hopefully up for you next week. Uh, we just need to logistically work out some time constraints, and I need to work on my editing skills because I think pulling this in via Skype is going to challenge me. I may need to improve my software, but... I'll do my best to get that put together for you this weekend. If you like this video, if you want to see more sports stuff, more stuff on the draft as the last few rounds finish up, please like, subscribe, comment below, and let me know what you want to see. Appreciate you watching. King Brimley out.